Hello, the internet. My name's Laura and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of a project. It's not really a DIY project. I have bought and bought and I have bought and <laughs> I have bought a new set of shelves um, from Ikea and I, it, it, I'm pretty sure it's one of the, the ones that can be considered an Ikea greenhouse, greenhouse cabinet, even though they're not built like that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put it together, see what it actually looks like, because they didn't have one built in the store for me to actually look at. They had some of the other ones, but those ones were out of stock. So I ended up getting this one, um, and I'm going to put it together. We're going to, we're going to see what it looks like, and then we're going to go from there, because I, I need to replace my greenhouse, because the one with the plastic just isn't cutting it anymore. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know how I'm going to do the videoing. Um, but we'll see what I can get set up. <laughs> All right, stick around if you want to see me put this together. I was just walking over here to move some stuff out of the way, and I noticed that this alocasia has put out a new leaf, and it is absolutely gorgeous and huge, and I just decided that I needed to, uh, I needed to record it for posterity. It's Beautiful. <laughs> okay. I have no idea how this camera angle is going to work, but we'll give it a shot. These are the shelves. There's two boxes. Um, this one's labeled one. So I'm going to open it first because one comes before two. And we'll see what happens. I was feeling all around and couldn't find any edges, so. Get over there. These ones first. I guess I'm not going to try and put it back into this box. are always important. The lighting is really weird today. I don't, I'm just looking at the camera, what you guys are seeing. It looks very weird. Okay. <sighs> Warning. Serious or fatal crushing injuries can occur, occur from furniture tip over. To prevent this furniture from tipping over, it must be permanently fixed to the wall with included wall attachment devices. Okay, um, oh, it says, it says, don't do it with one person, do it with two persons. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not, I don't want to bother my husband right now. Um, so we'll, we'll see how far we can get without him needing to hold up something for me, because I assume that's what it's going to be. All right, um, list of parts, which are all here somewhere, I'm sure. Let's start pulling this apart. Is that just, oh, I guess this was just a spacer. It's just cardboard. Uh, oh, so is that. I if my, um... No, I probably wouldn't want to do that because they get all lost in there. Okay, never mind. Ignore me. Okay, so. Step one. Step one is taking these little bottom pieces. 
Sorry, that's actually got something in it. This is probably got some little um, screws and stuff. Because it, it has to, oh, okay. for the doors. Those are for spacers. Not exactly sure. Oh, those are for, okay, now I get it. Those are the magnets for closing the doors. Like, okay. And then actual bolts to hold the thing together. Also good. Okay. It said I need a screwdriver, didn't it? Yes, I need a screwdriver. I'm going to have to go get that at some point because I didn't bring one down here. And I don't think I have one down here. All right, so step the one is get all these little pieces out. Step the two is... Step the two is put a whole bunch of... Okay, what do we got? We have... Okay, so I imagine that's the bottom and that's the top because that's where the pieces all go in. All right. This is the, a lot of this thing is made of glass. And yeah, I was like really nervous about bringing it home because I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm in Blacksburg and we got this from Baltimore. If like one of these pieces of glass is broken, I can't just like run it back to the Ikea and get another one. So I'm gonna hope that none of them are broken. We, we were very, very careful moving them around, but. Okay. Those look exactly the same. Nope, this one's got that one's got a hole in the it and this one does not. Or that one's got an extra hole. Oh okay, it says not the one with the hole. So that's the one I'm not using, this is the one I am using. You guys are just gonna watch me like stumble around with this. I don't know, maybe you find it entertaining. I'll probably fast forward a lot of parts as I like. Quite clean. The cloth dampened with mild cleaner. Let's dry the clean cloth. Oh, it's just this is how to clean it. This whole thing is for how to clean it, just in all the different languages. Oh, good to know about tempered glass. Yeah, tempered glass is one of the ones where, like, if you if you hit it on the side, it's actually pretty, like, you're not going to break it really easily. But if you, like, touch it on the side or, like, drop it or, like, or whatever, it can, like, just shatter the whole thing. Okay, well, I guess it's good that I'm doing it on the carpet because it means that I'll just be setting it down on the carpet whenever I move it. But, yeah, this is a very large piece of glass. This is probably why they're like, don't do this by yourself. Because you'll drop the effing glass. <laughs> you'll drop the glass. Okay. So what I'm looking for now are these. They look like little rods. Are they these plastic pieces? They don't look like these plastic pieces. Okay. Plastic pieces go over there. What else is in here? Alright, that's just two pieces of glass. Okay, so. Looks like I'm gonna have to open the other box. Oh. Alright, glass. Ooh. Why is it? Oh. I'm like, why won't it move? Because you're sitting on it, Laura. Okay. Um wonder if you can do this more easily this time. There's nothing important along this edge, as long as I stick to the edge, I'll be fine. Okay. Beautiful. 
beautiful. I know you guys can't even see what's going on. It's very tall. I might have to uh, move the camera around later. Okay, so now I got my two little metal pieces. this side than they are on that side like I'm not even sure I would have noticed that had they not said something huh okay <sighs> All right. does it matter which side no as long as oh gosh okay I'm actually pretty good at things like this so the fact that I'm having difficulty means it's not clear enough. Um, no it isn't that it's supposed to be longer they want those on the inside okay that makes much more sense I'm going I really am not seeing this difference okay yeah because it's definitely you want this side but do I want maybe it doesn't matter maybe as long as those things are on the inside it doesn't matter whether it's this way or this way and that's why they're not saying anything about it okay Makes sense because if you're making shelves, you've got to have something to shelf the shelf to. Oh, the peaches. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Now, they want me to 
put the little fikis on. Some feet, in fact, go on the bottom. Is it these screws? I got four of the long ones and two of the short ones. Probably the long ones then. All right, perfect. I love it. entirely happy with the way that you're sitting right now, but that's okay. furniture is nothing if not very clever. We actually have our um, living room set. Um, I guess there really isn't a way to do this without it. Um, our living room set is actually Ikea furniture. Um, and I love it. There was one piece that the instructions were not very clear when it was going together. And um, so, like, you know how they have the sides that are done up, like, nice and pretty, and they're supposed to be facing the front. And then sometimes there'll be sides that are just the um, the plasterboard, the, 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 the composite stuff or whatever, and it's not as pretty. The way that they had it in the book did not make it clear that it was supposed to be the clean side and not the, the poster board side. And I actually looked further in the book and um, found a place where they made it much more clear that it was the, the yucky side facing the forward. And so the very bottom of the cabinet, like the strip along the bottom, actually is just the, um, the board. Like it isn't... It isn't the nice black, you know, stuff that's supposed to be facing forward. But luckily, when the doors are closed, you can't see it. Like, you don't notice it because it's on the bottom and it's, and it's behind the doors. And so I just kind of like, because at that point, like, I had already put it all together. And I might have even made some holes or, like, there was some, some reason why I didn't pull it all the way back apart. But anyway, it, it ended up working just fine. And um, I was just a little annoyed because like, like I said, later in the book, they had shown it, made it very clear, you know, like made the one side, the one side was white and then the other side was very obviously dark showing that it was like the, the just the composite showing. But on that particular page, they hadn't shown it right, so. But other than that, I've never had any problems with it. I actually find it kind of fun. It's it like people, have, you know, been like, they're adult Legos. It's, it's true, it's almost like adult Legos. And I always liked Legos, so. Little Fikis. I guess if I wanted to, I could put some like felt on the bottom of this too. Cause these are just like little plastic. Um, but it depends on how much I plan on moving it. Cause I figure I'm just gonna kind of put it and leave, leave it. Okay. All right. So now we have the little fixes on. Little bitches. Okay, so this is the point at which, all right, so I'm gonna pick up the one of these pieces of glass. I'll have to figure out which one is the which. Does it actually have the number one on it? It do! Perfect, okay. All right, so that piece of glass is gonna go back there. 
and then oh I heave. Oh I heave. Okay, that's what the little plastic pieces are for. Those are to hold the sides of the glass cabinet together. And that's why you need two people, because you want one person actually holding the piece of glass and then the other person putting that on. And then And then you're going to put the sides on, and then you're going to put the side, we got one side, then the other side, and then you're going to put the top on and do the screwing just the way that you've screwed. Yeah. And then, then I have to decide which way I want it to open. So at that point, I'm going to have to know where I want it to go. I really haven't actually decided. I was thinking of putting it there. Um, I need to stay within my little space, like, because that's kind of, hmm. I might have to think about it. I also am going to need to get my husband. So truthfully, you guys are only here until I decide to cut off this video. Um, but I have to decide which way I'm going to put on the door. And then the door is going to go on that side. And then you're going to put the little magnetic thing on it and the little... <sighs> oh, I see. Yeah, because the other thing with this is I was I was reading about somebody who had one. And she was saying that the humidity in it was only about 30%. And then she sealed it, which I assume is she sealed it with silicone. And after that, the humidity on it went, went much higher. And so I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to, probably going to end up having to do that on this guy. Uh-huh. Um, and I don't have any silicone yet. So, I assume what she did was put the little, put the glass in here and then ran a bead of silicone along the entire thing. Um, I don't know if that's going to go in there or not. It might just go on the glass and then the glass sits in there. But it does mean that I'm going to so yeah, this video is probably going to take place in a couple of parts. It's going to be one part for you guys, but it'll be a couple of parts for me because um, I want to get the silicone, though luckily I need some silicone for another project too, so I'll probably end up getting one. It'll probably be enough for both projects. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to cut. Okay, I didn't break anything. Sounded like I broke something. Um, I'm going to have to take a break here and then have my husband come down and help me put the rest of it together. Um, and then we're going to go from there. So I will see you guys in a couple seconds. <clears throat> I put the instruction book somewhere. There it is. Waha! Okay, so we are on the step where it says two smiley people. Two smiley people. I'll call one. Um, all right, and then we need the pane of glass that has a one on it, which is this one. supposed to be like that because that one is too. Okay, never mind, it's not shipped. That's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, can you come hold this? Or I guess hold it from there. 
rubber guy. Actually, do you want the rubber inside or out? I have no idea. I haven't gotten that far. The instructions do not say. put this on something hard. I'm like, I'm glad I'm putting it together on the carpet. Okay. And it says, is it the thing? The thing on the inside? It might not matter. Yes. Not my most favorite thing that I have done to this cabinet. So it's all together now. Um, for the most part, it seems to be pretty airtight, but not around the door, obviously. So that's not going to be obviously fixed with silicone. So I think I might have to get some sort of like a weather stripping or some sort of a rubber, something just to go along those sides, just to help hold the, the the humidity in there right now because right now there's a lot of airflow but I don't know it might be fine because it's actually fairly humid down here right now I might not have to worry about it until winter um, okay so I think the last step um, is putting in the shelves and oh there's no There's a little hole there that says there's something to go in it. Oh, 
it is. Okay. Or wait. Oh, I wonder if these, this is like if you wanted to put a cord in here or something. And then if you don't, it's got like a little. Okay, that's kind of nice. It has a little hole in the top for a cord. Um, I got confused because they, there's all these little tiny plastic guys, and those are also tiny plastic guys. They all look the same, and I was like, where is this thing that they told me it was here? Okay, so there's that. And then, little shell, little glass shell. Oh, and it's nice because the metal things are wide enough that, like, the glass shelf can't accidentally slide off. Like, it can't come this way, it can't go out the back, it can't go to the side and slip down. So that's, that's actually really nice. I appreciate that. And then the little gobbins that I just put in there um, keep it from being on the metal, so. Now, the only downside that I'm really seeing at this point is that if I ever leave this house, there's no way that this is going to make it to another house in one piece. Uh, I mean, I could probably, I could very easily pull it apart again. Um, but just the flames of, I mean, I guess anything with glass is going to be kind of rough to transport, so, but for the most part, I mean, that's a thing. And it's not super huge, but I didn't need it to be super huge, so there we go. You're, you're not going to end up staying in there, but for right now. Okay, that seems to work pretty well. Alright, and then I will come back. I'm going to get it set up where I want it. Be actually on camera. I'm going to get it set up where I want it. And, and then figure out kind of what's going in there, and then I will show you guys an update. Okay, so it's been a little bit, it's been a, more than a couple of days. Hi, you can see me. Hi. Um, but the, I have this set up now, and um, so sitting around, it was basically the same humidity as outside. Um, and now, um, so what I did is I added this, um, it's like window sealer, um, like it had, it's like a foam or whatever, um, and it comes in these long strips like this, and I put it all along the outside of, um, like all on the edges of here, and it doesn't always stick perfectly, but but now the humidity inside, as you can see, is, well, I mean, it's 80 today because it's raining, but it's been holding pretty steady right around 70. Um, and so it seems to be working, which is great. And so my Orbifolia, it, it got um, a little damaged um, in the container I had it in before, and that's why it's got those markings on the top of it, but the plants that are in here seem to be doing really okay. Um, and I'm, so I'm, now that I, I know that it's pretty steady at being a, a decent humidity, I'm probably going to put a couple more plants in here. This guy here, um, my red planet, um, was doing great inside my grow tent, and then I took it out of my grow tent, and it basically just, like, died. I mean, but now you can see, like I said, it's been a week or so. You can see the little baby, um, the little baby leaves. See all the little baby leaves popping up? 
Um, so that plant definitely wants to be in here. Maybe that's the problem I'm having with all my Rex begonias. I'm not sure. I can, uh, you know, we'll give it a shot. But um, so there'll be a couple more plants that I'm going to put in here. I mean, I've got plenty of space. Um, and I guess I'll probably also test and make sure that like down here still has good humidity. Um, and I also want to at some point put a fan in here. Um, people were talking about, remember somebody saying that they were using computer fans, which are fairly small. If you don't know, like computer fans are the fans that go on the side of your computer and they help the airflow inside your computer. Um, so it might be interesting to get one of those. Um, this thing does have, uh, there's like a little, this is a hole here. There's little things in it right now, but I think that's for, um, putting cords in and out. And if I need to, I could probably run one out of the bottom, like between the glass, because I have it filled up with the, um, with the sealant stuff right now, but I could probably, you know, move some of that and, and run a wire out of there if I needed to, so... Um, anyway, that's going to probably be the end of this video. I will definitely show you guys updates later on, um, on this, you know, what I end up putting in here and all that kind of stuff. Um, but for right now, and I mean, it's looking pretty good there. I want to move the, the picture thing that I have back there because obviously that doesn't work now with this here, but I kind of like how it, how it is here. Uh, so anyway, that is going to be the end of this video. So if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. Um, if you want to, you know, see how this greenhouse, greenhouse, um, you know, plays out in the long run, go ahead and subscribe so you can stick around. And thank you guys very much for spending some of your time with me today. I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.